Hi guys. Now, China is welcoming a lot of foreign visitors currently, and it's really opened itself up again after COVID, which is a good thing to see. But if you're coming to China for work or studies, you need to be aware of a few things. And the major issue when it comes to living in China is that foreigners can't always rent the same places as Chinese. And in fact, there are fairly strict rules when it comes to landlords renting out their apartments to foreigners anyway. And what you may come across is that certain apartments will simply have a blanket ban on all foreigners, which sounds incredibly racist. And the origins of this, I think, go back a few years ago. Now, China was starting to welcome a lot of students from mainly African countries. As you would expect, some of these students didn't exactly come with the best intentions. And a few years after the first students from Africa were arriving, certainly the numbers of aides started to go up quite considerably. And it was feared that if more blacks were staying in the same apartments with Chinese people, there would be a huge rise in the number of Chinese women who contracted aids. So what tends to happen is that landlords decided they would restrict their apartments to all foreigners. Rather than risk just labeling them as being anti-black, they decided that they would simply not allow any foreigners. And it's why today you will still see certain apartments saying no foreigners, whether or not the rooms are available or not, which is really bizarre when you think about it, because foreigners in fact often end up paying more when they have to rent an apartment than normal Chinese do. So you would have thought it would actually be an apartment holders best interest to rent out to foreigners but no that is definitely not the case and please note that if you do want to come to China you'll often end up paying significantly more when it comes to renting an apartment anyway and the best apartments will tend to go to Chinese who have the negotiating skills to be able to get them at the best price okay guys thanks for listening I'm sorry if this is a bit of an upsetting topic but it's something which I feel quite strongly about after my time in China has been quite difficult when it's come to renting an apartment so let me know what you think as always subscribe have a great day guys bye bye